Victorian paleontologists have acquired a scientific miracle in the form of an almost complete triceratops skeleton, the only one of its kind in the world. At 67 million years old, its final resting place is Melbourne Museum, where it's already attracted crowds not seen since before the pandemic. From the sandstone ridges of Montana to the concrete jungle of Melbourne stands a marvel of paleontology. Never before have we had the opportunity to come into a museum in Australia and be eyewitness to a masterpiece of evolution. It's the finest example of one of the most globally recognised natural phenomena in history. God, uh, she was one of my favourite when I was a kid. Now I see she's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. <laughs> It was stumbled upon in 2014 by commercial paleontologist Craig Fister, whose walking route had been redirected by a recent downpour. And it was only because he walked that slightly different way that he came across some of the bones eroding out of the hillside. 67 million years ago, when Horridus, named after its species, walked the earth, Montana was heavily forested. Its rivers and creeks full of mineral-rich sediment would have helped to immediately preserve the bones, also giving them their dark colour. Now Montana's dry landscape is the perfect condition for archaeological digs. And so because of that active erosion in an arid, dry landscape, bones are almost tumbling out of the rocks. Dinosaurs like Horridus of the Cretaceous period were typically only found in North America. Like koalas and kangaroos to Australia, they would have been native to the area. But the chances of finding another articulated skeleton with almost all bones intact are virtually unlikely. So in 130 years since Triceratops was first named, this is our first look at what Triceratops really looked like, and that's extremely exciting. At two and a half metres tall, seven metres long and weighing one tonne, it took more than a year to excavate. Our paleontologists here had a tip-off that this Triceratops might be available. There was certainly a, a line-up of other international museums ready and waiting if we didn't succeed, but happily we did. It will reside in Melbourne permanently and has already attracted large crowds as the city reopens. A small piece of Horridus has been reserved for research to determine its sex, its age and how it died. This skeleton, in many ways the Rosetta Stone for Triceratops, will at last give paleontologists answers to those questions. Jessica Maggio, Sky News, Melbourne.